Hi, and welcome to The Journey. I'm Senior Pastor Scott Smoke. This past Sunday, we continued our sermon series on the Lord's Prayer, looking at the theme of forgiveness, specifically the line of the Lord's Prayer that says, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. We looked at forgiveness as a vertical forgiveness and a horizontal forgiveness. Uh, the vertical forgiveness is that forgiveness that God bestows on us. We come before God, we ask for forgiveness for our sins, and he removes them, forgets them, casts them out into the sea. The horizontal forgiveness is that forgiveness that we have for one another, or maybe even ourselves. But how often do we say, I will forgive, but I will not forget? It's not what God says, nor what God does. So why should we do less? Why should we not forget those sins and the ways that people have hurt and harmed us if we forgive them? I know it's difficult. It is very challenging and may take our whole lifetime to actually get to the point to forgive. But that is something that we're called to do and strive to do. For this petition in the Lord's Prayer is the longest and I think one of the most important things to do is forgive. Let's go to our scripture for this week comes from Psalm 21, verse 6. For you make him most blessed forever. You make him glad with the joy of your presence. Now that we're into the month of March, the theme will be joy. We'll be looking at ways that we can be joyful. Being present with God. He, he, he wants us to be present. And I think that he finds joy in that. And I believe we can find joy in the presence of God. Whether in worship whether in our small groups, you know, the season is changing. Of course, we know the pollen is coming out and, and allergies are on the rise, but it's just good to be outside in the sun, get a little vitamin D. The flowers will be blooming soon and it'll be springtime and there will be great joy. Let's look at our quote for this week. It comes from Mother Teresa. Joy is the net of love by which you can catch souls. We must love one another. We're also called to forgive one another. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. I pray that you will find it in your heart and in your soul to forgive others and forgive of yourself. For God has asked us and called us to do this. You know, Trinity is a church that connects and grows and serves. We connect with God and one another so that we might grow into who God has called us to be so we might serve boldly with love and grace. That's who we are. We are Trinity. I hope you will check out our website. Come see all the wonderful things that are happening here at Trinity as we continue on this journey of life, this discipleship journey together. May you have a great week.